What's going on my YouTube family? So as you can see from the title, um, we're just going to carry on with this um, discussion from the last video. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit a bit drowsy. I just woke up, it's like 7.46 in the morning and I've got to go and do things. It's just fucking, I'm shattered. <laughs> so um, um, going along with this discussion about the Art Ads video, I feel like I needed to do another video because the conversation got a lot bigger than that video like it was more bigger than just an odd ads video like this is like turned into like a, a religion discussion and I've got so many like I'm reading all the comments on the video from a lot of the Muslim brothers and, and, and stuff and um, there is some good points from them because they're saying but they're basically saying in a nutshell what I'm saying is not right to be honest about tattoos and I just find it a bit funny because like I've got so many points that I probably won't remember it all because I should have written it all down really but I ain't had time but um, what I found funny was like let me turn this down what I found funny was that everyone's going at going on about tattoos and how they are haram and they're not permitted in Islam and and religion and stuff but no one touched on the whole thing about when I said about because you know when I said I, no one touched on when I said about how come God tests innocent people I know life is a test but how can you test babies and, and innocent children starving and you know and die and little kids getting raped and killed and how can you test innocent innocent little children that haven't even lived life yet like no one touched on that they just everyone has just banged on about tattoos um i found like loads of stuff online about tattoos that makes my point valid because I, if you guys didn't watch that that video you're not really gonna understand this one so i think you should go and watch that odd ads review video i done then listen to this one and then you'll kind of understand what, what, what we're talking about today so, um, but where was I? So basically, um, yeah, people going on about the tattoos are oh, haram, you're not right. Um, bro, I am right. Tattoos are not haram, they're not bad. Um, in Islam, um, in any religion, you're not meant to be horrible to anyone, you're not meant to be nasty, you're not meant to do theft, you're not meant to do anything like this, you're not meant to cause anyone any harm. Bro, I know it. I know Muslims that pray five times a day, and they are the most horriblest, meanest people. Bro, you know what? Like, I've got so many points, and you know what? I probably won't even remember it all. But when they were saying to me about tattoos are bad because when you do wuzu, which is basically cleaning your body before prayer, it doesn't wash your skin because your skin is is dirty bro do your research on a tattoo when a tattoo goes into your skin it goes underneath on the underlie it doesn't go onto the top that's just what you see it goes underneath mate um there is no there is nothing yeah because people are sending me all these links bro i could send you links all day long about why tattoos are all right there is nothing Basically, like Muslims, is like shy, sh it's like shy Muslims and Sunni Muslims. You know, like in in Catholics, there's like Catholic of church. I don't really know. I don't know about Catholics and all that. But you know, when you've got like different Catholics, like Pro Protestant and all this kind of stuff, like there's that in Islam as well. And some Muslims, some one side of the Muslims say it's it's completely bad and you're cursed. Another side say, well, no, you're not. There is nothing in the Quran to say that if you have tattoos, you are basically doomed forever then. Bro, I'm sounded like a bit of a, a person that's against God right now, like against religion, and I'm, and I'm not. Like, I'm a Muslim. I pray all the, every day. Allah's name is, it comes out of my mouth every night, every morning, during the day, I pray. And I'm sounding like I'm a bit against God, but I'm not against God. I'm against people that are like twisting his words because obviously, like I said before, Allah has done 
crazy things for me that, you know, like, has helped me through everything, everything. Like, things that have happened in my life that were bad, like, they would have probably, like, he stopped, basically. He stopped everything. Like, he stopped things from happening that could have turned worse. So I don't, I don't want to sound like, oh, someone who's trying to go against religion and all this kind of stuff. I'm just trying to, like, I'm going, I'm not going against anyone, to be fair. I'm just trying to, like, make people understand, look, this is it with religion. This is it with religion. Let me just tell you how it is, yeah? And this, and this I believe, is the meaning of life as well. I know it's a big thing to say because everyone's looking for the meaning of life. But um, I believe this is the meaning of life. Look, there are books out there, the Quran, the Bible, there's all of these books, right? Obviously, we all know that the Quran is 100% truthful. You know, someone said to me, if you throw the Quran into the into the ocean, all the Qurans into ocean, all the Bibles into the ocean, the only one you could bring back was the Quran. Why? Because there is no contradictions. There's never been anything changed in the Quran for God knows how many for, since it came out. In the Bible, there's like thousands of contradictions, right? But I've done my research into it. And in fact, there are contradictions into the in the in the Quran. Um, I won't get into them contradictions because I'll sit here and be reading off a screen for ages. Like, go and Google it. Write contradictions in the Quran, and you'll see there are contradictions. Look, I basically, I said, why did these bad things happen? Why would God, who is all knowing, all seeing? Merciful, why would he let bad things happen to the most innocent children and innocent people that do nothing wrong to nobody, right, for a test? I believe it's like this. Because atheist, you know what, atheist people say religion causes wars and this and that, it's bad. And they believe in science, the big bang theory, and they think that's a better way to live. Well, you know, people that are atheists still do a lot of bad shit. So that, that is not the argument here. The argument here is basically, it's like this, sorry I'm babbling a little bit, I know, I know. It's like this, right, the meaning of life. So the Quran is here, and it's the last book. We read it, we take things out of that. God has gave us a life, okay, to make our own choices, to learn from take some experiences from this life and basically implement them in our life so what I'm trying to say is we take things from the Quran and we and we use them in our life so we know right from wrong but also we learn from our experiences as well so for example, as I used in the other video, if I have tattoos, am I hurting anybody? Am I am I doing anything wrong to anyone? Am I killing anyone? Am I doing anything wrong to any children? Things like that. And then if the answer is no, then why can't it be okay to have them? Why is why would I be a bad person? So. God has gave us this life to make our own judgments and have our own experiences. And I believe that is the meaning of life. I know it sounds very cliche and I know it sounds very far-fetched. Like, oh, how can you sum up the meaning of life just in like that little sentence? But bro, everyone makes this shit so complicated and it's not complicated. We know from the Quran we don't hurt anyone we must pray we must seek forgiveness we must treat our mothers with the utmost respect we must respect women children we must not commit murder adultery we know all of this but we also take things from experience and implement them into our life and that's it Bro, listen, there is nothing in this that anybody can tell me that how I live my life is wrong, okay? 
there's nothing in this world that anybody could tell me, right, that how I live won't, God won't accept me, and I will go to hell or anything like this, or I'm not a Muslim. Only, <coughs> only God can tell me that, or only God can, only God can judge. So no body, I don't care how many times a day you pray. I don't care how Islamic your name is. I don't even care like if you are if you are the most strictest person on your deen. You can never ever judge me. You can never tell me that I am not a Muslim. <laughs> like you have no right yeah god judges everybody i read in a thing one day i read in a thing one day that said about this this guy and i can't remember his name is someone from the quran he committed murder back in the days when obviously the quran was coming about he committed a few murders then he realized his actions were wrong and he said to one of the I think it's one of the, are they scholars or something like that? He said to one of them, he goes, uh, I know what I've done is wrong and I want to seek forgiveness and I need to, I want to make it to Jannah, which is heaven. And they said, you must go to this, I can't remember if it was Mecca, Mecca or somewhere, but they said, you need to go to this place. So he walked and he walked through the desert and halfway through the desert he died because of starvate water and the heat. And they said, to God, the angels came to get him and they said, he needs to go basically to Jahannam, which is hell. And they said to God, what should we do? Because he's done all his murders basically. And I know this sounds like a makeup. Go and Google it. It's it's absolutely true. What I'm trying, what I'm saying right now, it's it's like it's in. I think it's like in the Quran somewhere or something like that. Anyway, so the angel said we have to take him to hell. He's committed these murders, and God said, "Well, wait. How far away was we can't make up because he wanted to basically change before he died. He wanted to become a pious person, and God said, "Well, wait. We need to work this out." Because he, he asked for forgiveness. He wanted to make a change. How can we... What can, how can we do this? So they measured his like, distance from the holy, holy country where he was going to become a pious person. To like the place he was living. And he was more closer to the... To the, to the more holy place where he was going to become pious. So he actually entered Janna, which is heaven. Like, look at that, bro. Look at that. Mate, he didn't pray, nothing. But he was just, he asked for forgiveness. So, bro, God is merciful, yeah. But before, you, you know, you lot come and attack, not attack, but if you lot come and argue with me about tattoos and this and that and drinking, I understand, bro, listen, I understand alcohol is the devil because, you know, like, I've done some crazy stuff when I've been drunk that have put put this put me in jail when I was younger. But uh, hanging out at home and being being a bit proper with it, like having a few drinks with family or friends at home, getting some food, having a drink. I, there's no, isn't you're not gonna be a bad person. You're not going to fucking hell. You're not. Doesn't make you not a Muslim. It makes you a normal person. All right, bro. I see people, I see like these women in hijabs, I'll give you an example, the other day, the other day I saw, um, I went out with my missus and we, I went, we went to like a lake and I like swimming in lakes and stuff. I'm just a nutter though. I love I love doing all that kind of stuff, jumping in lakes. And I'm just a, I'm a bit of a free thinker at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I just do whatever I want. And um, I was jumping in a lake and uh, had my top off, obviously. And uh, I think I might have had a beer or something like that. Well, I just had a beer, put a beer, something like that. Anyway, um. 
and I was having a wicked day, man. I was, it was a nice hot day. I was drenched with water. We carried on walking, and I saw this like Muslim family walking past. And the the the, the man was obviously like leading, and the women were in her jab. The kid, the little girls were in her jab. The the boy was, you know, proper. And um. And they all like kind of looked at me like, "Cool, mate, he's a bit rough and that." You wouldn't know I was a Muslim, you know. They were like, not not looked at me as I was on rough, just like, "Oh, mate, he's got tattoos and he's drinking a beer and." And they saw me. I think they even saw me like come out of that lake. I remember the little one, one of the, the family's little boy like looked at me like, "That looks so much fun," but they can't do that kind of stuff. Like he's ta like he probably looked at he looked at me like, "Oh, his tattoos are wicked." I could I yeah you can tell. He looked at me like, "Oh, his tattoos are wicked." I know oh, that looks fun and you know like, and I thought to myself, you know like, there's a lot of Muslim. I'll bet you any money. There's a lot of Muslim people out there. That would love to like be able to go to a bar, have a drink with friends, be normal, yeah. Like, bro, we're here on this planet for not long. I don't agree with people saying you only live once, so you have loads of fun. You don't only live, you know, like that's bollocks. Because if you you live how you want, you fucking you end up like Amy Winehouse and all these people just dead. <laughs> I believe we need to have fun though. Start having a bit of fun. Um, don't take it too too hard don't be too hard on yourself man like god has brought us on this earth to have an experience he's blessed us with life have some experiences stop being so hard and negative on yourself and thinking god hates you and you're not going to go to heaven and you're not a muslim if you don't if you miss a prayer like bro i know like what it says about praying five times a day yeah you do have to you know what i mean but sometimes it's not doable. You know, when you have a busy day going and stuff, it's not doable. I'm sorry, it's not. But, bro, as long as you keep uh, Allah in your heart and you remember to, like, remember to pray, bro, I can't see anything wrong with it. I honestly can't, man. And before you question anything... I think you should try and answer that question about. I think you should try and answer that question about um, why does bad things happen to norm nice people, innocent children? Yeah. Um, I rambled on a little bit, guys, but I feel like I had to do this video, and I'm sorry again if I'm offended anyone in the video, but I feel like I just like these things in my ch in my heart, and I've always wanted to express them really. And I'm glad I've done that Ardad's video because it's like, let me do this one. But listen, I love all of my Akis, all of my Muslim brothers and sisters in Islam. Any religion, man, it doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter you white, black, brown, yellow. Who cares, man? Look, enjoy your life. Have some good experiences. Have fun. Pray. Ask for forgiveness. Be merciful. Be kind to people. Remember Allah every day. Remember God every day. Bro, you're fine. I love you all. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you soon.